SUNY Oneonta has shut down all in-person learning for two weeks now after more than 100 people in that college community tested positive for coronavirus. Now, the 105 cases represent about 3% of students and faculty on campus. Five students have been suspended because of large parties held on campus last week. Well, classes start today at Lemoyne, OCC, and SUNY Cortland. Now, at Cortland, they had a phased-in move-in period, and it didn't go all that well. The president of the college addressed first year students quite sternly last week in a letter that had a strong message either wear those masks, do social distancing, or pack up and go home. Several students, mostly first year students, had violated COVID guidelines just days after stepping onto the Cortland campus. There were no large parties there, but the college president says he wants to stay ahead of any potential problems. The class is also getting underway today at Onondaga Community College. President Dr. Casey Craybill says students have four options to learn. One is fully online and you can study when you can. The second is real time remote, where students and faculty are online at the same time engaging in lessons. Another is OCC's high flex model, which allows students to split the time for in person and at home learning. And the fourth is strictly face to face classes. And here's a traffic alert if you use Grand Avenue on the southwest side of Syracuse to go to and from. Starting today, they're reconstructing Grand Ave from Delaware Street over to Velasco Road, milling and repaving. They're going to close down the street, and detours are up. So you'll need to plan some extra time, plan a different route. They do expect to have this finished by the end of the week, depending on the weather.